Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I welcome you as Alwani to our Wednesday service. Wow, it's been a great week. It's been a wonderful week. And I hope you are having a great time amidst the difficulties that we are faced with. I believe that you know what? You are finding your peace in Christ. You are finding your peace in our Lord. You are finding your peace in the messages that are being shared. It's Wednesday tonight. And hey, we are so blessed to be together once again just praising the Lord. And hey, I am excited. I hope you are excited too. And let me take this opportunity and this time that has been given to me to really honor the time that I've been given by honoring the servants of God, Pastor Strike and Pastor Joylene, you know, to say thank you you thank you for the time thank you one really has grown as a person i have grown over the past few months of lockdown we're in we've gone on live streaming yo you know we've been thrown to the deep end you know our father and our mother threw us to the deep end today we are better people today we are better men and women and we are sharing the word to you so i want to appreciate them to say you know what thank you for this opportunity thank you for the time that you have not just given me but you have given to other pastors also you have given to other servants of god in the house that you know you have lifted up given them an opportunity to share this wonderful word of god i appreciate my parents and i appreciate you sons and daughters of mana tabernacle thank you so much we are in a great time and a great season no season of us celebrating our anniversary it's 20 years of god's grace god's amazing grace 20 years wow you know what i look back and i say wow is it 20 years already surely it's 20 years and the lord has carried us through you know it has been a 20 years not that it did not have difficulties not that it did not have mountains not that it did not have valleys not that it did not have fires it had all this but it has been a wonderful 20 years and i we really thank god for that so sons and daughters of mana tabernacle it's our time you know of celebrating and to our you know our friends on facebook and on youtube who have joined us throughout this time hey you have gained so many friends we've gained so many believers that you know have joined us in this journey wherein we are going you know celebrating the goodness of the lord every day wherein we see the value of each and every day that passes you know as a as a time that we are going you know the time that we are passing through it's a difficult time it is understandable it's a difficult time the times of covid 19 you you know especially you look but now you see the infections are rising every day by 10,000 or so but I want to say to you my brothers and my sisters the Lord that we serve is still God and is still seated on the throne he has not shifted he is still there for each and every one of us and our pastors taught us last week you know we were talking about fear not for the lord says fear not i am with you and i want to say to you my brothers and my sisters let us not fear but let's remember that the lord is with us and the lord wants to take us through to the other side and as we are celebrating our anniversary at mana tabernacle you know today i you know i feel like testifying those that know me they know that you know and i love to testify i feel like testifying and i want to read the scripture that our father shared with us on sunday when he spoke about the children of israel when god gave a command to moses in, you know in numbers 33 and we're going to be reading verse 2 and it reads as follows now moses wrote down the starting points of their journeys at the command of the lord and these are the journeys according to their starting points i just want us to read that part only you know I looked at it and I was so amazed that the Bible says that Moses wrote, you know, the starting points of their journeys as per command. This was the command of the Lord to Moses to say, you know what, write down. And I asked myself, why would the Lord say we, uh, Moses must write down? Why was it so important? And I figured it out by the help of the Holy Spirit that it was important that they write down the journeys that you know they were taking so that not only for themselves but for their children so that their children will be able to look back and see what the lord has done and i want to say to you my brother my sister even as our father shared on sunday i want to encourage you today to say you know what let this be a time wherein our testimony is a testimony that we raise so high it's a testimony that we talk about the lord each one of us has taken us through very difficult times and he has brought us to points of victory and our Want to say to you you know what let's go back let's take time let's remember where the lord took us from you know that's why the bible says that yeah we have overcome the enemy 
by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony. And the word of our testimony is what the Lord has done for you. It's what the Lord has done for me. And it is important for us you, to delve into what the Lord has done for us. You know, when we look back, you will realize, you know, what, that where we have passed, we have passed in more very difficult uh, situations. The Lord has been there and the Lord has brought us this far. And as our father was talking, I was reminded about the journeys of Mana Tabernacle. I am privileged to have been part of Mana Tabernacle from, from the uh, year 2000 uh, at the time of its inception. I have privileged to see and to follow in the footsteps of our parents, to see, you know, and check the steps of our parents. And Yo, it was so difficult, but you know what? They were resilient. They, they journeyed. They did not stop. They trusted in the Lord. They hoped in the Lord. And today, when I look at where we are as Mana Tabernacle, when I look at the sons and daughters that have been born to Mana Tabernacle, you know what? I am so encouraged and so amazed at the grace of God. I remember when we started Mana Tabernacle, there was nobody that was working at that time. Actually, there were few, if I may put it that way. There were few people that were were working at Mana Tabernacle. The rest of the people were students. And some of those that were students are listening to me right now. They were students, you know, they, their people were not working. And our father at that time, you know, he would uh, 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 pay for the rent. I remember vividly we were paying about 4,500 4, rent and there was no offering that was coming through. Instead, you know, he had to take money out of his pocket to give people. He had to take money out of his pocket, you know, to subsidize some of the students that were there. They will come and say, Papa, we do not have food. Papa, we do not have that. And some of us that were no longer students were not working. And, you know, we would uh, go to him, hey, I don't have money for rent. Hey, I don't have... You know what? The men and the women of God carried us. They carried us. They never gave up on us. They didn't start on a platform. It was, if I may put it this way, it was not favorable to start a church in terms of the finances. It was not favorable because people did not have money. We did not have money. Actually, we were burdened to the, to, to the church. We were burdened to the men of God. But I saw the men of God soldiering on. I remember, you know, it was 2003, somewhere there. He had a contract for and that contract phone, he was paying about 6000 I still do not believe it till to date. And I look at our contracts, even to date, we will not pay that much. But already he was paying 6000 6000 in, in contract fees on the phone. Because we were known as the cell phone church. Why were we known as the cell phone church? Because people would phone and Papa will take his time. Mama will take her time to cancel people. They took time to cancel people. They took time, you know, to encourage people. They took time to speak to people. I remember, they will remember this. I remember some time when we were still there at number four, Devonish. Uh, there, there, there was, a, actually number seven, Devonish. There was a lady all the way from Bloemfontein who came on a Wednesday service just to come and testify, just to come, you know, to say that they prayed for him and to bring a baby as a testimony. Wow. Those were the things that we were seeing at Mana Tabernacle, things that we still see to date. And I look at them and I say, Jehovah, you are God. And I find myself and I find you, Mzalwane, who is a son and a daughter of Mana Tabernacle, to be privileged, to be walking in the footsteps of these giants. You know, these giants that have walked this journey, these giants that have been with us and today we are saying 20 years we are celebrating 20 years of god's grace we have seen wonderful things we have seen great things and i come before you you know i, I when i was there i remember last week i shared with you i told you how i was kicked out out of the room where I was staying. But today I come to you as I speak. I am having my own place. I'm having my own plot. I'm having my own house. You know, things because of the teaching of the house, the, which, which helped me to, you know, to tap into the grace of God, which helped me that even when it was difficult, I did not lose hope. When it was difficult, I continued to hold on to the weight that is shared. Today, you know what? I am, I am, I'm, I'm coming to you and can say to you, you know what? I have things that some of them they do not all are already paid up. But when I look at where I was, when I look at the difficult that I was in, when I look at all those, you know, beginnings, you know, those humble beginnings, I look at them and I say, God, you are God. And with this testimony, I want to encourage somebody. I want to say to somebody, you know what? Hang in there. Do not give up. Hang in there. Do not throw in the towel. God is God. The Lord is good. And the Lord is with us. And the Lord will take 
each and every one of us through to the other side. As Jesus said to the disciples, let us cross over to the other side. You know, what the passage that we find in Mark 4 from verse 35. He said, let us cross over to the other side. You know, when he said to them, let us cross over to the other side, he did not tell them that they were going to encounter a storm. Jesus being Jesus, being God, he was God and he was man. He knew that there is going to be resistance. He knew that the enemy will try to resist them going to the other side. But Jesus said all the same, he said, let us cross over to the other side. And going over to the other side, Jesus decided to sleep. He decided to sleep because he knew he was in control. He decided to sleep. You know, when they even when they encountered a storm, the word of God says they woke him up. They said, Master, don't you care that we are perishing? Don't you care that, you know, we are getting finished off by this storm? And he stood up. He woke up. The Bible says he woke up and he says, peace be still. He knew that there was going to be a storm. But he taught us something to say that even there is going to be a storm in life. Like in the words of our father, he loves to say that, you know, in this life that we are in, it's either you are getting into a storm or you are in a storm or you are coming out of a storm. He likes to say that. And that's exactly what it is, my brother, my sister. You, it's, that is what we encounter every day of our lives. And I want to say to you that even in that encounter, you know, of storms and stuff, there is many victories that the Lord, you know, makes us to celebrate. We cannot stand and say we have not celebrated victory. But I want you to go back and to remember the victory that you have celebrated. Remember, you know, where God has taken you from. As we celebrate as Mana Tabernacle to say we are celebrating 20 years. I've seen women, old women in the church. I've seen them, you know, getting licenses. Wow. You know, getting licenses at the age of almost 60, buying a car, going on pension with a license. I've seen them. And I believe that those people is the word of God that has encouraged them. It's the word of God that has caused them to say, you know what? I am never too old to have a license. I'm never too old to have a car of my own. And I've seen them. They are driving to church. It's only that now it's, you know, it's locked down. But they were driving themselves to church. I'm talking about all the women. I'm talking about people who the society will say, no, 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 you are old. Now you deserve to holum tende. Now you deserve to go and sit down. Now you deserve to go and look out after you know grandchildren. But I've seen them taking the courage because of the word that is shared at Mana Tabernacle. Taking the courage. I've seen them getting licenses. And even buying cars and driving. Wow. God has been so good to Mana Tabernacle. God has been so great to Mana Tabernacle. There is many testimonies. You know, there is many testimonies. There are people that came. They were so sick. And, you know, they were given timelines. I remember my sister. There is a sister of mine whom I call. I always call her my motivation. I always call her my inspiration. I always, you know, I always refer to her as my Lazarus. You know, my this sister of mine, when he came, when she came to Manap Tabernacle, she was just told that you do you have a few months to leave. Your CD4 count is too low. You have a few a few months to leave. And I remember, I remember the scripture that Pastor Joelin shared to her. He said, You will live and not die. You will live and not die so that you can talk about the goodness of the Lord. And up to, to date, it's more than 10 years. Actually, I think it's more than 10 to 15 years. I'm talking about a person that is still alive. A person that is sharing the word of God. A person that is encouraging us today. I am talking about that person. And there is nothing that that person was given a church except the word. Accept the word of God. Accept, you know, being taught the word. And she took the word. And she owned the word. And when she owned the word, she began to live. She began to shine. She began to prosper. She began, I remember, she bought a, she, she bought a house. She's having a beautiful house of her own. Last time, I think it's last month, she went on. She bought a beautiful car, an executive car. They have been given reason to live. And I'm one of those people that because of being here at Mana Tabernacle, I was given the reason to live. I have given the reason to be 
you know, to, to be encouraged, the reason to see hope. And all this I am saying, appreciating my pastors, Pastor Strike and Pastor Joylin. I know there is many of us, there is many of us that had given up on life. We wanted, you know what, to, to, to wish we could die tomorrow. There is many of us, but today I look at those men and women, they are giants. I look at the men and women that came, they were not working today, they are powerful businessmen and businesswomen. I look at men and women that came you know you never would believe that there is anything amazing that will come out of them today they are preachers of the word of god today they are encouraging people when i came to church nobody thought there was anything that will come out of me you know i remember there is a sister of mine i used to call her my friend my friend you know she knows herself she would refer to me she says when she came to church when she looked at me and i was helping pastor strike she said hey that guy looks like it's Otzi. No, no, no. That guy looks like it's Otzi. Hey, we must make sure here we're safe. I don't trust. I don't trust the guy. But look at what the Lord has done. And today when she sees me, she calls me pastor. When she sees me today, she wants to hear, you know, the word of God. That is how great our God is. And our God has been with Mana Chabanekli. I remember those days when the church started. It was not even easy for our spiritual parents. Our senior pastor, Pastor Joylene. You know, the women of God, our mentor, you are the powerful women of God. She used to stay in Guyana. She would come over the weekends. I remember I used to go and pick her up with the boys. It was, uh, it was uh, Abukosi and Langabi by then. I used to go and pick them up with a buggy and we will squeeze ourselves in the front of a buggy. I will pick them on a Friday and on a Sunday I will take them back every weekend. I had to do so and I loved doing it. And when we look back at that, today you know what we say god you are good god you are great we look at what the lord has done we have a church structure we have the children's wall that is standing there we have built houses and we look at all this it has been achieved within you know the time frame of 20 years and how can we not celebrate the goodness of the lord how can we not talk about the greatness of God? I have seen such, and I want to say to you, Mzalona, as I testify today, I'm trying to show you that God has done great things for you. If you can sit down and remember, sit down and write down what the Lord has done for you in the in, in your time in the house of the Lord, in your time after you have been saved. Sit down and write, starting from the time where God went all out for for you i love this passage of scripture you know the passage of scripture in mark 4 from verse 35 way you know are there to encounter a storm they were to encounter difficulty to cross over to the other side just for jesus to go and set free one mad man to go and set free one man that had long you know big there was no hope in him he was staying you know in the tombs he went all out for that man and he has gone all out for you to be saved how can the Lord not lift you up now? How can the Lord not take you higher and higher? Mzalwane, endure the test. Endure the challenge that you are facing. You will come on top of the mountain. And when, on top of the, when you are on top of the mountain, you will be able to see further than anybody can see. But for you to get to the top of the mountain, you must endure the risk of going up. You must endure the risk of rocks rolling on you. You must endure you know the risk of sleeping and falling you must endure that risk and i want to say to you Mzalwane, as you go up that mountain as you go up that challenge as you go up that challenge of of health that challenge of business financial challenges studies challenges i want to say to you there is a pinnacle there is a point at the top of the mountain wherein we are waiting for you to get there so that when you are up there we can all lift our eyes and look at you and have hope we can lift our eyes and look at you and say this is what the lord has done and i want to encourage you Mzalone, i know from the time of your salvation your salvation was not a mere work your salvation was not something that just happened out of the blue some of you like our father would share he was going where he was going you know not minding anything but he was called into the church and he got saved by being called just coming into the church god said and he started saving the Lord. There is many stories about how we have been saved. I told you last time that how I was saved, it is because
was my father. You know, show me, showed me so much love when I did not even know that he was a pastor. I was drinking in his car. He gave me a lift with my wife to go and pick us up. You know, to bring us to Polukwane. I didn't know that he was a pastor. My, my wife never told me. I only knew that he was my brother, the, the brother to my wife. I didn't know anything. I was just busy saying, yes, Bali, Bali, yeah, Bali. You know, and I was drinking my beer. He never said anything. And all this road as we were traveling, I was going and I was requesting, you know, to go and, and say, hey, stop, nature is calling. I didn't know that this was a pastor. He showed me love. And from there on, I wanted what this man had. I said, I want what this man have. I want what this man have. I love what this man have. If I could be like this man, if I could act like this man, if I could have the love that this man has, and God being God, he reached out to me through him. And today I'm standing, I'm sitting before you. You know, I'm used to standing in church and sharing. That's why every time I would say I'm standing before you. But hey, just know that inside I'm standing. I might be sitting, but inside I'm standing. Today I am testifying to you. And I'm saying that the Lord has been good to us, Mana Tabernacle. The Lord has been good to us. And the same God that has been good to us, He's the God that is not surprised by COVID-19. He's the God that, you know what, He's not surprised by COVID-19. He sees this and He is ready to take us through. He is ready, as per Psalm 91, to say to us, 10,000 may fall on your side, 10,000 on your other side, you will remain untouched. He is the same God that wants us to go through this difficult time so that we can testify the word of God says you know I love the word, the word of God when he says that you shall go through a troop and you shall leap over walls because once you go through a troop you have a testimony Mzalwani. once you leap over walls wow you have a testimony you will be able to tell people that I went through a troop you know you will be able to testify we were listening to the testimony of our own Dr. Mangani, Dr. Masenyani Mangani. We were listening to that testimony. And that testimony encouraged us. He overcame COVID. How did he overcome? He overcame by the word of his testimony. He testified of the goodness of the Lord, even in isolation. And he comes out, he still testifies testifying of the goodness of the Lord. And I say to you, Mzalwane, your, 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 your testimony is not small. Do not undermine your testimony. Do not take for granted your testimony. But the testimony that you have lived that testimony, as our father shared to us, he reminded us that, you know, when, 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 when David was faced with Goliath, he testified of the goodness of the Lord. He testified that when he was when he was taking care of the sheep, when the bear came to him, he said, you know what, when the bear tried to take the young one, I fought after I fought him, I smote him. When the lion came, he fought the lion and he smote the lion. He carried that testimony forward. And I want to say to you, Mana Tabernacle, you have a testimony. 20 years still standing, 20 years still preaching the undefiled word of the Lord is no joke. Look at that and take it as a testimony. Look at that and be able to stand and not be afraid. Yet COVID is there. He is attacking numbers are skyrocketing. But I want to say to you, Mzalone, carry the word. Let the word of your testimony, the word of God, the word that has been shared to you, carry that word. Let it be the word that you testify. Let it be the word that you eat every day. Let it be the word that you talk about. And uh, that word is going to help you to remember where the Lord took you from because the word of God reminds us where we come from it is going to help you to see where the Lord took you from and as we celebrate 20 years we look back and we say Jehovah you have been good Jehovah you have been great as I testified many of those people that are senior members today at Manatamanaki they were students when our father saw us when our mother saw us we were students but they saw greatness in us they harnessed that greatness through the word of God God. And today we are standing as ministers of the word of God because they saw greatness in us. And I want to say to you, remember your humble beginnings. Remember where you have passed. Remember what the Lord has done for you. And look forward and be able to conquer. Because as we conquer, we are taken from a level 
of glory to a higher level of glory. And I want to say to you, challenges are still going to come. Even bigger challenges are going to come because we keep on graduating. But because Jesus is with us and he said he will never leave us nor forsake us, we continue to conquer, we continue to overcome, we continue to tremble on serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. And I want to say to you, Bazalwane, let's continue to trust in the Lord. Let's continue to hope in the Lord in this time, in this season. Let's continue to hope in the Lord. Even as numbers increase, let it be where let it not be where now we sit down and we say it's over with us. But let it let us be the ones that call upon the name of the Lord. Let us be the ones that pray for people that you know are, are in, the, in, in essential services our government our leaders let us be the ones that are praying let this be the time wherein we are praying we have been praying today uh, was our last day of prayer let it not be the last day of prayer but let's continue to pray it might not have been officialized that we continue but let's continue to pray let's continue to trust in the lord and god is good and god is going to take us through and he has already taken us through and today we are celebrating this month. We are celebrating. We are saying, God, you have been good to Mana Tabernacle. We look at our general overseer. We look at our senior pastor. We look at the pastors in the house and we say, Lord, you've been so good to us. And we thank the Lord and we celebrate his goodness. And we are going to be praying as we are closing this Wednesday service. We are going to be praying. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for this great week. We thank you, Father, for this time, my God, of celebration. This time, Lord, where we seek to remember where you took us from. This time, Lord, where in my Father, we look at the word when you commanded Moses to say, write down so that it be known, so that it be a testimony. Father God, we choose to remember where you took us from. We choose, my God, to physically write down, Lord, the journeys of our lives. So that, my God, when we fight our battles going forward, we fight, Lord, looking at what you have done. Looking, my God, and finding our hope in the victory that you have given us. My God, my Father, we thank you for our government. We thank you, my God, for the men and women that are risking their lives on, on essential services. Father, we pray and we ask for protection. May you protect them. May you keep them. May you preserve them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may you protect all our friends, oh God, on Facebook, sons and daughters of Manatama. May you keep them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We give you the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hey, continue to have a great time. May the Lord richly bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>